It's another edition of the Agents of Inclusion podcast, and right now we're going to check in with some old buddies that I met earlier this year during the Super Bowl out in Phoenix, Arizona. It's my main man, Coach Chad Williams, and athlete Monty Briggs. First of all, Monty, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. It's I'm good to great. see. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Coach Chad, how you feeling, man? I'm doing excellent, too. Just got back into the swing of uh, schools, and we're about ready to uh, start badminton. Listen, we, we love unified sports, and badminton is a, a sport that I haven't explored yet. I'm really looking forward to learning more about that. And then also the state championship that you guys picked up. First of all, Monty, you, you got to fill us in here, man. It's been a few months since we spoke and since I saw you during Media Row during the Super Bowl. For anyone who's not familiar, what sports do you compete in? I know there are a lot. Tell us about them. What sports yeah. are they? That is badminton. Soccer, flag football. Don't get confused by soccer, flag football. Not not that soccer football in England. American American flag football. Yes. But I also understand with soccer, weren't you like the leading scorer too? Yes, I was. Okay. Okay. Any other sports did we leave out? You play all of them. I did basketball and volleyball. Well, I didn't even play volleyball. We never had a game, but yeah, I did participate in volleyball for a bit. This guy, Monty, just, he plays everything. So let me ask you, this is a better question. What sport don't you like? Well, I don't like. You like Ooh. all of them. You like all of them, I guess. I can't say all of them. I don't like tennis. Oh, but well, we found, we found one. We found one. Now, I coach. Like yes, go ahead, Monty. Uh, I don't like golf that much. I don't know. It, it's a full pace. And the one I really don't like is hockey. I don't know how you do that. I, I don't know. If, I never got into hockey that much. And when I tried it, it wasn't really my favorite. Well, you live in Arizona. I think it would make sense to, to ice Arizona. It doesn't necessarily go together. But that's that's just me. Coach, this is a question for you, man. What got you involved? with Special Olympics and Unified Sports? Um, working with Travis Haley, he was running our Unified Sports for the district, and he asked me to do it for uh, help out two years ago, and it went well. We did, I did volleyball, um, and we started our own um, program at each school in our district. And so I had coached high school basketball for eight or nine years, and I wasn't going to do that anymore. And he's like, hey, I got something I think you'll really like, and – I mean, I've loved every second of it. It's been great. And anyone who's not familiar with unified sports, it allows people with and without intellectual disabilities to just get out there on the field, on the court, and to go out and play. Now, Monty, for yourself, what has this opportunity meant to you? How cool is it to play unified sports? What has it done for you? It's a great, it's a great playing with other people, game, game, meet new people, you know, it's real that first, like when I first joined, it was real that first how they didn't know because at first I was so used to, you go on, you, you, you go to a gym, you know, there'll be like a hundred people and then you got to wait and then you got to try out for a team and all that. I'm so used to that. So doing you in the fight, it was real. But once you get more and more into it, you know, you start liking it. So you're in high school right now. You've been participating in, in Special Olympics for a few years what does inclusion mean to you to be able to even go out and play all of these sports? What does it mean to you? It mean it mean it means a lot to me. You know, playing you play against different competition. Um, or I you know I want your state. You know, it means a lot. I can dig it now, Coach Chad. Man, what's this I hear about a a state championship? I, I see there's quite a few sports. What, what what's the deal there? You guys are just winning everything, huh? Oh well, yeah, we like to think so, but I know I actually know nothing really about soccer. But Monty, um, he's good at every sport, and I, you know, I actually he really is. He uh, qualified for state last year in badminton, but um, he's our leading scorer in soccer. And then we also have a really good partner um, that was able to help out, and he's Monty scored a game in the state championship, and so our partner. So we only had two goals, but they were pretty big ones. Hey, Monty, man, for all of these sports that you love to play, when you're not actively playing sports, 
What are some of your other hobbies? I mean, are you playing video games? You listening to music? You watching movies? What else do you like to do? I do game some. I do games sometimes. I we do that movies. I watch movies, but not that much. You know, I watch movies when you know, like way at night when I have my popcorn ready. If I feel watching a movie, I do that. Shows. I watch shows, but not really much. Now, if you ask me, like. Five or six years ago, he tell you all, all all about shows I watched, but now I forgot them all. <laughs> well, that's a that's a lot, man. That's a big range. Let me ask you this: like, I like one of my favorite movies, and you tell me if you like this movie as well. I like Batman. I don't remember the name, the one with the Joker. You, you know what I'm talking about? Ooh, there's many Batman movies. Yeah, there's the Batman like... where the the Joker tried to rob the bank at the beginning of the movie. I think that was a dark oh, night. Oh, oh yeah, it was the dark night. What is this? Did 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 you like that one? Did you like that movie? Oh yeah, I I, I liked it. The end the ending was the ending was confusing, but I liked that. Well, the joke is just crazy. He's never gonna go anywhere. That's the ending. He's never no, gonna no, go anywhere. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the Joker. Um, um, um. What was it? Um, with Batman? It? No, 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 no. It, it was okay, you know. You know, Batman had there was a there was a bomb on the six wheel truck, right? And Batman had his bat wing, and he was taken right over the ocean, uh -oh. and he had the chance to drop it right there, but he decided to commit the unthinkable and and, and hit suicide. No, Batman. Listen, no, Bat. He lived. He saved every everybody. Lived. He, this is what you need to understand, Monty. And I think Chad can back me up here. Batman and the Joker are like peanut butter and jelly. They are going to be together fighting each other forever. And wouldn't you say so, Chad? Wouldn't that probably the idea? Yeah, because when I when I was younger, I don't know how old you are, but there was a Batman and they were together then. That was like late 80s, early 90s, and they're still battling yeah. it out. Michael Michael Keaton and, and Jack Nicholson. Yep. No, they've they've uh, they they they're probably having a cane fight uh, <laughs> somewhere now at this point. What has this opportunity just to, to to coach with Special Olympics meant to you, Chad? It's been great. You know, everyone's excited. They appreciate what we do. Um, we've had some great partners um, this last year that have really got it going because it was the first year and people that we didn't really know about it and I didn't do a great job really getting it out there and um, we have a volleyball a girl on a volleyball team and I believe she's a state volleyball player of the year and she came to me and wanted to do it and she's been um, great about recruiting other people and um, it's just been a great experience we hosted a basketball game last year and the gym was packed and they may or may not have been chanting Monty's name so he's kind of like a little celebrity around the campus if I'm being honest. It sounds like it. Well, Monty, with, with all the sports that you participate in, everything you've played, do you have a favorite memory? Is there one thing that really stands out? Is it people chanting your name? Um, yes, but no, my favorite memory is winning state while I'm wearing my t-shirt. Oh, and that's for yeah. soccer. For yeah, anyone who can't see it, that's state for soccer, man. You're a big deal. And you you led the whole team in goals scored, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what's what sport do you want to play that you haven't tried yet? Um, I'm thinking about trying it. Um, I made going to one and one or two years later from now, and that is wrestling. Wrestling. Oh yeah. Look, man. It, it, it's been my goal. It's been my goal to win a belt. It's been my goal to win a belt. So I may think about going. There's this place in New Jersey that I may go to and train how to wrestle. Well, you're a big, you're a big, strong dude, man. I don't know if I'd want to get in the ring with you. I'd probably end up on the losing side. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, he agrees. He agrees. He he actually has a belt that he uh, brought to school last year after we won state. He uh, had a belt one day that he brought around campus. Well, listen. I understand Monty is a big deal. Monty is, is certainly a winner. Uh, for you, Chad, is there a favorite experience that you've had so far throughout this process? It was when we hosted the uh, basketball um, tournament last year because it was the whole entire school during the day. I think we had three other schools there. And um, 
some parents came, my mom and aunt, uncle, uh, they were able to come and I had some students that came up to me that were in the stands that said, we want to be a part of this. This is just so great. And it was awesome just to see everyone get to experience that. And we had a couple of um, basketball players on our uh, team and they raft and they're like, that was such a neat experience. And they wrote about it in their journal. So it was definitely uh, that. That's a Wooden lot. State, of Wooden State wasn't too far behind it either, though. Yeah, not not too shabby to have some options now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Monty, when, when you think about all of these experiences and, and your favorite memories, who or what has inspired you to just do all of this, to play these sports, to be a winner? What inspires you? Well, what's inspired me to do this? Um, I should say from y'all, who whoever owned it. I don't know who owned who 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 started Unify. Whoever started Unify inspired me to do this for real. Okay. That's a good point. Chad, what say you, man? What what keeps you going? What what lights the fire? I, well, I love sports to begin with. But just seeing like how Paul, like every interaction that we have and every time we go play a different sport and go to something, it's always a positive interaction. And so you just, you, you leave those events just with a smile on your face and seeing, watching everyone's enjoyment out of it. I've seen this firsthand all over the country, all over the world. People find out about Special Olympics and just the opportunity to participate in sports and they go, wow. I'm finding out about this for the first time. I didn't know that I could do this or do that. What advice or what would you say to someone who isn't fully in the know about this experience? I would just, I mean, I didn't know much about it either. And I didn't really realize how it worked with partners and athletes. And I would say to talk to the, the partners, sometimes they, they get more enjoyment um, out of it, but then you walk around in campus and then you see, you know, some of the partners and athletes sitting with each other. And like I said, th this guy's the big man, on, big man on campus around here. So I would just say to talk to um, some people that have experienced it. Monty, man, what does coach mean to you? Coach, um, he's a great coach. You know, he, he, he's a leader. He read people in the right way, you know. And you see what he done. He always win the championships. Hey, you should probably put him in the Hall of Fame sometime. <laughs> I, I did not tell him to put that down, but, I mean, that's not a bad idea either. Hey, you know, I mean, for everything that you guys have already accomplished, uh, how about we create a Hall of Fame and put both of y'all in it? That, that works, but it's got to be the Travis Haley Hall of Fame because he's the one that's got this going on our campus, and he's just been a great um, advocate um, for Special Olympics, not within our school, but also, like, within the state in the uh, surrounding areas for adults in Special Olympics as well. When you're not participating in athletics yourself, Chad, as a, as a coach and as a mentor to so many young folks, what occupies your time? How do you find the balance to do all of it? Um, I do a lot of like, oh, I got a dog and it's, I don't have any kids. So we do, I do a lot of hiking with him. It's a little too hot to be doing that. Um, I started boxing about a year and a half ago, and that's just to, to get a workout in. And I really enjoy that. And I watch a ton of sports, probably like this guy. Well, we, we all sit down and watch a ton of sports. Monty, go ahead, man. You got to drop the the favorite teams. Who are some of your favorite pro sports teams? Oh, my favorite pro sport. Ooh. For me, um, I'm a huge Ravens fan. If you want to know why, it's not because of Mark Jackson. Everybody was saying that. It's actually because of Wade Lewis. Yeah, due to Ray Lewis, I'm a huge Ravens fan. So is Lamar Jackson going to stay healthy enough to help him win the championship this year? Honestly, Lamar Jackson, uh, if you go back to his draft, he did say he, he did say he's going to win one for the Ravens. So he's going to have to keep his promise and do that. Oh, I hear you. He did say he wants to win one. I know he just got paid a lot of money. And so hopefully it works out for him. You think the Odell signing is a good move for the Ravens as well? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Because, you know, back in 2016, well, Odell was, like, high, high, high into it. Everybody wanted to be Odell into it. He could probably lead people to come to the Ravens as well. Okay. I certainly hope so. So this is kind of a, one of my final questions to wrap things up. I know you're a big Ravens fan. Who 
wins the Super Bowl. Are the Chiefs going to win it again? I don't know. I want to go with this. Okay, go for your team. I, 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 I'm mm-hmm. going to go for. I'm going to go for the hard take here. I'm going to say this: Aaron Rodgers is going to have a phenomenal mm-hmm. season and win the Super Bowl. You They're got to win it. You know the last time the Jets won a Super Bowl? Yeah. Anything could happen. <laughs> we got the Bengals. Um, I, believe, I forgot. Wait, what? 2019? 2020? 18, 19, or 20 season? Okay. They only had like three wins. Three wins that season. Next season came around. They were like, they have like 15, 14 wins. And that's, the Joe Bur- that's the Joe Burrow effect. <laughs> yeah. You get Joe Burrow, you, you, you win some games. Let's see if Aaron Rodgers can help out the Jets. It's been since 1968, 1969, but what does that have to do with today? You're 100% correct. Anything could happen, a whole lot of nothing. Hey, listen, Monty, we all can't be winners and superstars and champions and have belts like you, but we can aspire to be you. What does inclusion mean to you, Monty? Go ahead. Inclusion? I know everybody won't be me, but you got to work the right me. When I started, when I started, um, let's see, I was on the bench, you know, I wasn't always the top guy. I was on the bench, you know, I had to, you know, wait my turn and all that. But, but once you, once you get the opportunity, like I said, never will opportunity go to waste. When I see opportunity, I take it. I love it, man. When I see opportunity, I take it. Final question to you, Chad, as well. What does inclusion mean to you? It's it's everything that's we're we're trying to get on campus. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. We want everyone to feel a part of like our team, our school, um, our community. And it's just been great to see just in the I guess it's just been a year since we started here and how much it's it's grown. Well, I appreciate you guys joining on. And before we get out of here, one last question. Do you guys have a question for me? Yeah. 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 What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport, this may be a cop-out answer, all of them. I watch it all. I watch basketball, baseball, football, tennis, international football, soccer. I watch everything, NASCAR. So I'm just a a huge sports fan. But more importantly, man, I'm a fan of what you, what you've been able to accomplish and do. And it may be sooner than later I could check out one of your games out in Arizona. Good deal? That sounds right to me. No doubt about it. A big shout out to Chad and my main man, Monty, for holding it down in Arizona. You've been checking out the Agents of Inclusion podcast. I got to step my game up and be more like Monty.